Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been quite a while since I've done a video or a blog for that matter and I just want to apologize. My life has been pretty hectic this past month and um, first and foremost before I get into the video I just want to thank those of you who have reached out to me and sent me such sweet messages and emails um, and just been so supportive. Um, you guys mean the world to me. It, it just meant so much to me, more than you ever know. I feel so blessed to have sweet subscribers that actually care. Um, and just, you guys just blew my mind. And it, you just touched my heart. And I just want to say thank you so much. You guys are my favorite thing about this month. You're my favorite thing every month of the year. But I just especially wanted to give you guys a shout out. Those of you who have reached out to me and... Um, just shown kindness and encouraging thoughts and prayers. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for that. Um, beginning of the month I was really sick and I was on the verge of pneumonia. I got just so sick and once I got over that we had a, um, a death in the family and it was unexpected and it uh, was pretty hard so I had I needed to take some time to be with my family and um, then I had a really sick kitty that I'm still trying to nurse back to health so it's just been a lot more than that um, I won't go into too much detail with all those but I just wanted to thank you guys uh, again for your love and your support and your prayers you guys mean the world to me and and I was just blown away by how sweet you guys are. I just just can't say enough thank yous to you guys for your words. They just meant so much to me. And I just, again, I wanted to give you guys a shout out because you are amazing. And I feel so blessed to have such sweet subscribers and friends in my life. So, I love you guys. Okay, so today's video is going to be my November favorites. And... The first thing I want to mention is some tea that helped me get through those times when I was really sick. And it's just this, I think it's called Bigelow, Bigelow Mint Melody Tea. For those of you that don't know, my husband is a cop. And he was talking with one of his fellow police officers about me being sick. And he recommended this with a tablespoon of brown sugar. And when my husband told me that, I kind of laughed thinking, oh. Oh, it's like the Mary Poppins thing, you know what? A spoonful of sugar helps medicine go down sort of thing. And I kind of laughed. And no, he has, he does in fact have, um, I don't know, some kind of remedy that you wouldn't think would work, but it does. For some reason, this was like a little miracle in a box for me. So this was definitely a favorite this month. Another favorite this month that I used when I was sick, and I try to use these whenever I get sick too because I think it helps, especially with like colds. Um, they're called emergency, emergency packets, and this one is the raspberry flavor. It has vitamin C, D, and B, and electrolyte, electrolytes, and some antioxidants, zinc, and magnesium. What they look like, it's just a packet, you tear it open, put it in a small glass of water or juice, drink it down, and all that vitamin C, I swear, just like helps boost your immune system and I swear these babies work whenever you start feeling sick or start getting a sore throat trust me go buy some of these and it will help kick that sickness in the butt I've been loving my beauty blender and I found this brand at Walmart it's called Soho London or I think it's just Soho I'm not sure that's what it looks like and this is around four to five dollars and I had originally bought this one they're the same size, but this one does not work. I do not like this one. It's, I don't know, maybe you guys know the difference. It's really hard. It does not blend very well. I try using it, you know, damp, dry, do not like it. This one, I can use wet or dry. It's really soft. It blends in really well. Love this one. Do not like this one. So if you're going to buy this brand, I would not, I would skip out on this one and go with the solid pink one there is a difference I don't know why but there is a huge difference so I just wanted to point that out so Walmart had some you know their Christmas section 
gift packages and I was going by the beauty stuff just I happened to be going by there and they had these packages and they were it's the flawless complexion set I I think it was it was like $4.95 something like that I don't really care for the kabuki brush this is eh, it's all right um, it might be something nice to throw in your purse just to dab some powder on your face but it came with I'm gonna hold it this way all these little sponges and I really like them um, not for your entire face just kind of like a flower shaped design and this is how big they are they're really small so at first I was like what am I gonna do with those but however however I love them just for like going underneath your eye with your concealer they're small and they've got that little point and so they can just get up really close underneath your eye I just like them they're really soft they work well and I don't even have to use them damp either I can use them dry which I really like so this is another favorite so I did pick up some things from Morphe brushes Am I saying that correctly? Is it Morphe or Morph? It looks like Morph, but I've heard people say Morphe, so I'm going to go with Morphe for now until you guys correct me. But I did pick up some brushes. I'm going to do a haul video later on that. Um, I kind of have some mixed feelings about some of the things I've gotten. But, anyway, but anyways, um, two brushes that I bought that I have been really loving and using non-stop. One is a blending brush. It's the M441. And it's like, it's kind of tapered and it's stiff. So it really helps to get in there and just blend away without it going all over your lid. So I really like this one. And then I picked up the B31 brush. And it's got two ends. One end has a spoolie for your eyebrows. And the other end is just a flat angle. And this works so well on the brows. I use this side to do like my wax part in the powder. And then after I do that, I just take the little spoolie, go through it, and it just, I love it. It's so easy, makes it quick and easy. And another favorite of this month that I picked up, and I'm so glad that I did, is the Lorac Pro 2 palette. And this are, these are the shadows. Really beautiful shadows. I think this is going to be perfect for, well, we're into the winter time now, but this is good for fall and winter. Today I am wearing, um, let's see, this one is a highlight, this light brown in the crease, rose gold on the main part of my lid, and then on the outer crease I did mocha. Or no, it's not mocha, it's cocoa. Sorry. Cocoa. But um, I'm going to be posting a review on this soon, so be on the lookout for that. I have been loving my Tarte Cold Pencils. And there's a set of 12 of these. I got this a couple months ago. The packaging is so cute. I love this case. It has a little bow on the front. You open it up, it's pink on the inside, and you have 12 eyeliners. And they're really creamy. I'll get one out for you. This one is navy. It's a great deal. $25 for 12 eyeliners. That's $2 a piece. And they are Tarte. And the brand's Tarte. So that's a high-end brand. I think that's a great deal. Um, and I really like them for adding a pop of color underneath my eyes. Like I like to play around with the green and the purple the most. But I've been loving this, and I did want to mention that. Again, you can find this on this on Ulta's website. I'm not sure if they sell it in stores, but they do have a sale going on. I believe it's $25. I also have been loving these EOS bombs. But I've got this one. I've got, I've got the pink one, the red one, and I think maybe a yellow. This green one, however, smells like butt. It stinks so bad, and I don't know why. I think this is supposed to be mint, because there is a minty smell to it, but there's something else to it, and I do not like that smell. Oh, But after you have it on your lips for a few minutes, you can't smell it anymore. 
Am I the only one? I mean, have you guys had that experience with any of these? I mean, most of them smell good. Like this pink one smells really good. This one, it smells like butt. <laughs> so I don't know. What are you guys' thoughts on these? I've also been loving these little LA Color nail polish remover pads. This one is in peach, I believe. Yeah, peach. It was only a buck at the dollar store. And they actually smell really good. They do not have acetone in them. And they work really well at removing polish. I was shocked. I honestly didn't think they were going to work. But I thought I'd just give them a try. You know? One dollar. Works great. You don't have that nasty acetone smell. And, um... Yeah, you, you just can't beat the price. And then I've been loving this color polish that's on my nails right now. It's by Pacifica. And it's their 7 free nail color polish. This is in the color Red Red Wine. And it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. Sorry, there's some nail polish on it. Um, but it also, ha it's free of a lot of chemicals that are harmful to you. As a, I love the formula. Like this right here, that is only one coat of polish. I mean, it has a great, the formula is good. It's fast drying too. I really like that fact. Very opaque and it's a beautiful color, beautiful wine color. So that's been a favorite. And then I love, been loving the glitter that I put on it. It's by Nicole. It's the Nicole by OPI. And this is in Guys and Galaxies. I don't know, but it's got different sized chunks of glitter in it. It's really pretty. Been loving that. Also, I've been loving these Maybelline matte lipsticks, and the the one I've been using the reaching for the most is called Touch of Spice. It just looks like that. It's kind of like my lip color, but a little bit darker and kind of on the mauve side. I'll do a swatch, and very creamy for being a matte. I love these lipsticks so I will definitely be doing a review of these. Okay so that's it for beauty supply or beauty stuff. Um, the thing I've been loving this month is a little craft project that I picked up. If you guys are interested in me doing a video on it I'd be more than happy to because I still have more to do. Um, basically just transferring pictures onto wood. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this and heard of it. Um, but I hadn't until I got on Pinterest this past month and thought, oh my gosh, that would make some really cute Christmas presents. So I did this one for my mom. That is my mama. It's a little... I, I did a gloss finish on this one. So, um, and yeah, I just put happiness is when your mom's your best friend. I thought it was cute. And her room is, she does the shabby chic for her bedroom and it's all pink. So I thought this would be cute. I'm going to put some like white lace to hang it. But I thought that turned out kind of cute. It, I made for my dad. Um, it's got him out uh, goose hunting in the blind with his dog. I thought that was a really cool picture. And I added a Bible verse under here. It just says, um... He was a mighty hunter before the Lord, Genesis 10, 9. So I thought that was kind of a cool scripture to go with this. I love the picture. Um, I still have to finish some of the green, but this, being a professional hunter, I think my dad's really going to love this. I think I want to try to put his logo up here somehow too for his goose calls. But yeah, I think it turned out really cute. I really like it. And that's everything I have for the month of November. <laughs> Again, I want to thank all of you guys for your love and your support and most of all your prayers. I appreciate them more than you know. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and God bless. Mwah.